All right, you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jeffrey Barnes. I'm Bobby. And we are here to talk about the unfortunate, but kind of fortunate Halloween Kills news um, that recently happened. Mm -hmm. um, so stay tuned. Alright, so yeah, so welcome back you guys. Um, so um, you guys already know the news. Uh, you already know the news. Yeah. I already know the news. Everybody already, everybody already knows the uh, news. Um, it's really sure. unfortunate because because of everything that's going on. Um, I was wrong. We, no, we, we were, were both wrong. wrong. We were both wrong. We were both I, wrong. I really thought it was going to be coming out on Video On Demand this year. Mm -hmm. He thought it was going to be coming out on... Um, I in, thought it was coming out on theaters. In theaters. But... You know, we'll get to the, re the yeah, exactly. We'll get to the reasons why they didn't want to. Mm -hmm. um, but um, you know, um, w with with uh, the the decision to delay the film a year, I think it's um, smart. Well, it's smart. Yeah, yeah, yes and no. Well, it is. Yeah, it's it's definitely smart because of uh, you know a whole lot of mm -hmm. um, things and complications and piracy and you know um, we'll we'll get into the reasons you know why why they chose not to um but on the plus side of it they uh did give us a small little teaser it's a 30 second teaser so we actually have it queued up right here you guys we might get a little copyright strike uh for showing it to you guys i don't know i don't think so i don't really give a shit i don't really give a shit um but either way here it is right here let's take a look at it right here all right so we get the pumpkin we get the there's like a body balloons i'm going to pause it in a minute just to talk about like every scene. Knife. Yeah. She is holding the knife. Yeah. It's okay. Oh no. No, 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 that was a cool little because that was a total homage to the first movie. Yeah. You saw some, yeah. Okay. So that was really really cool. Um, all right. So let, how did you like that? I loved. It. Yeah. I, I loved it because that's all you need in this movie compared to what they said to the last movie. Yeah. They, oh, they, they sorry gave for, out, Sorry for the dogs. <laughs> Go ahead. They gave, they gave out way too much information and this time you know, yeah. And of I, course we are a year from the movie so we're not gonna get a whole lot. No. Um. But this but, thirty second was this was enough. Yeah. This was actually enough to feel the fire. Yeah, it was. And um, and of course, with that being said, we do have a whole year of n more teasers and more trailers coming mm -hmm. out. So that was an awesome first teaser that we got. Um, I'm totally yeah. totally satisfied I'm on, with that. I'm at bored. least for now. You know, at least knowing that we're not going to get the movie this year. Um, <sighs> I'm totally sorry for the dogs again. Sorry guys. I don't know. I don't really care. I just want to get this video shot for you guys because I've been waiting long enough. Mm -hmm. Um. But yeah, but um, like I said, um, with with us not getting um, the movie uh, out this October, I'm right. I'm just happy at least to get just a little just a little just something a little for teaser. now. So that's pretty cool. So I do want to rewind it, and I just want to kind of like break it down a little bit and talk about just a little bit. Um, uh, the, uh, yeah, just a little uh, bit of the trailer. So let's just go right here. Let's start it okay. again. So we have that pumpkin, and it's very like homage to like the first one, right? right. Or is it more like the second one? I think it looks more like the second one, huh? I don't know. What do you think? What do maybe, you think? Maybe you know, it's more like the one. first one or the second one? Maybe I, I the think second one. Maybe the second from the second movie. I'm mean, gonna let's go again. And we have that. Is that a body? A, I think it's a dead body. I think it's honestly a dead body. It looks like a body, right? I don't know. I don't know. It looks <gasps> weird though. Oh, you know who you know who it is? Who? Oh, I think it is. It's um it's the father. I think that's the dad's body right there, just thrown right there. You know who I, I think it is? Before. I think it's Hawkins. Think it's Hawkins? Yeah, that kind of looks like where Hawkins died, doesn't it? You know what? You may be right because look, there's a, there's a holster right there. He's wearing. That's a gun holster. That is a gun holster, so, right? Yeah. So you maybe be that, right. Maybe that is Hawkins. What do you think? Yeah. Do you think it's Hawkins? You think it's um, what was his name? What was his name? Uh, Ray? Was that the dad's name, Ray? Yeah, I think, I think it Ray. was. Yeah, I'm so Ray. bad for fucking. I'm sorry, you guys. Right, let's get back to it. We have the balloons from the high school dance. Going that was on. yeah. That was that was probably from the high school. Yeah, you're right. Uh huh. 
And that looks like um, where Cameron was arrested. So maybe we're going to see a little bit about that. Okay. Maybe they'll show that because you guys know that there was, <coughs> may, and maybe you don't know, um, there was a deleted scene where Cameron actually got arrested right outside oh. of the school dance. And that's why we actually didn't see him the rest of the movie. It's not just because Allison he cut was him spared. off. He, he was spared of the night. He kind of was. Think of it. He was spared. How do you think he's going to get out though? I, I, I honestly don't know. They probably just let him go. They probably just let him go. Anyways, we'll see it. Um, so let's get back to this. All right, so we okay. see the house. Yes, the whole house is burning up. It's going on fire. Do you think that looks CGI'd? Okay, so a lot of people are saying that they CGI'd the house, the flames on the house. I think that looks real. I I think it is real. I think it's honestly clips from the from the last movie. Right. When the house was going up. And a lot of people are saying that they CGI'd the house with the flames. But I can swear from my memory that in the live tweet that they said that they actually did set the house on fire. I think they, no, I they don't did. Know. I think they right? did I think set they it did. on fire because yeah. it was a one-time deal, you know? Right, yeah. Uh, I don't know. We'll, 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 I'll do a little bit more research and find out for you guys. Um, let's get back to that. Then we have Ooh. Allison. She's in the back. Okay. She's right? holding the She's knife. She's holding and the knife. Bloody. Yep. And you see the two firefighter trucks. Yeah. You see her, her daughter, her daughter, like... Let it burn. Her, she is saying let it burn, right? Yeah, she's saying let it burn. And you think she's talking about Michael? I think she's talking about Michael. Like, I let, honestly let it think it's Michael Meyer she's yeah, talking about. I don't think she's referring no. to the house. And not only that... Look, I mean, of course she's all... It's like a double thing. Let... You know, I think it's a double... Um, a double sandwich? Like a double... No, not a double sandwich. Like a double meaning. Like let it, the house burn, but also let it, the shape burn. Ooh, like let, let it, let the yeah. evil Yeah, burn. yeah, let exactly. It be, let, let it, be it the, Let the evil burn. Yeah, I think it was a total... Total, a couple play on words. But I what think do you so. what do you think about her daughter though? Like her oldest daughter is like right there. She's like Holding she's knife? actually. Or no. what do you mean, Karen or Allison? Karen. Oh, Karen. She's like, she's actually like being afraid. Like now she understands like why her mother was all. Now she sees. She it. was all worried. Yeah, because the, the only thing that we saw was the little bit of her panicking in the 2018 film, mm -hmm. and then what, what happened shot and, and taking the it. shot, and yeah, so we actually get to see her dealing with it. Mm hmm. And the realization of like what her her mom like her mom wasn't crazy exactly her mom just, wasn't crazy she yeah. had, this is like the realization of like what the basement meant and what that whole house represented and all what those years of training was. and like yeah. damn I know you know I, honestly I just thought about that so I wonder if that's what they mean by like the emotional arcs that are going to be happening in this movie if that's something that we're going to be seeing is is think, her like dealing with that like holy like mentally shit. now it's like now it makes sense right like, why, and then, then of course um. I, I'm getting my names confused. Is it Karen or Allison who's the granddaughter? Allison. Allison. I'm so sorry, you guys. She's it is one, Allison. She, yeah, 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 yeah. She's the one holding the bloody knife. Uh, yeah, Allison oh. is holding the bloody knife. I'm sorry, my mind is like. Marijuana affects the memory. Anyways. <laughs> but, yeah, anyways. But... Um, but yeah, so so then we have Allison oh. having to also ha um, having the realization that like he was real. Holy mm. shit, my mom. My grandma was. My real. mom. My mom right. is wrong. Like my grandma was right. I think that's gonna be. It's gonna uh, be an eye opener. Yeah, like an eye opening scene, just in like a. a it's gonna be like a um, like a wowing scene, to like holy mm -hmm. fucking shit type of scene, and um, yeah, yeah, and I wonder what what the conversation is gonna be like once they actually get to the hospital, mm -hmm. if they actually make it to the hospital. <laughs> I think, who knows? I, I because think, of, I think no, she's gonna... no, Lori, Lori will. Lori makes it. Well, we. I think it. She will make it. Her daughter, I think she ends up in the police station. I think you know, like I don't know. I feel like after seeing those firefighters, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't think that she's gonna make it all the way to the hospital. You don't think so? Hmm. But she's gonna have to because yeah. I don't know. I, I just wonder how. I don't know. Oh my god! Now I'm just like thinking about it. Is she gonna let those those fire trucks go and like let the house, let them manipulate the the situation, or is she just gonna? No, I think I. But she is yeah. pretty badly hurt. She's gonna have to go to the hospital, right? Yeah, like no matter what, Lori has to go because she's badly wounded. Look at her. She took, just, she, oh my God, she took yeah. a knife. Yeah. Okay. I mean, let, let me know your guys' comments on, on all of that. Mm -hmm. I, I am so so fucking down to hear what you guys say. And then, um, so let's get back to the trailer. I mean, the, the little teaser. We have the new logo, mm -hmm. which looks like, is it like pumpkin on flames or is like the, is it like just flames? Okay. It looks like the, yeah, it looks like the like trees, right? I think it looks like the gates fell, like are opened up. Like we're seeing flames, like Halloween kills is all flames and flames. I honestly just think it's it's a steal of the house on fire and all we're seeing is the trees and the branches on fire. That's what it looks like to me. Okay. What do you guys think it is? I mean, it looks dope either way. Tell us. It looks comment. fucking cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I like that it definitely gives grain. 
to the old school orange Halloween look. It's mm -hmm. a reason why it's orange now. Yeah, so um, so like I said, I think it's um, it's really cool seeing the flames because like I said, it gives reason to the orange font. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's not just the, the jack-o'-lantern this time. It's like the, the gates of hell, the, the fire of hell, mm -hmm. fire of evil. So, so I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. I think it's a really cool concept. Then we'll get back to it and the really cool snippet of Michael oh, right here. Yeah. The, the, can we hear that music? That was cool. Rewind it. Rewind it. <laughs> One more time. There you are. And you hear the little, -da -da. it's totally like, you know, you're going to be hearing that you're like letting us know totally about like the flashback scene. Mm -hmm. That's totally that without saying anything, hearing that little sound is totally saying yeah. you're going to see, you're going to see the flashback, mm -hmm. right? Without seeing the flashback, that's letting us know, like, let Set it, up. it's coming, ready. it's coming, it's coming. Listen, oh my God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude. Oh, and then we have, the we have the October 15th, 2021 release date. Um, coming out in IMAX. That's the cool part. Um, that's the other cool part about this mm -hmm. whole thing happening is they actually gonna, are going to be releasing it in IMAX. And although it wasn't filmed in IMAX, um, you know, with it being filmed in whatever fucking format that they did, I'm sure it's going to look just fine. Well, um, yeah, it's going to be, I, well, yeah, because come on, it's IMAX. Well, those, um, those I, feel, I mean, yeah, you know? I forgot who they said that they're working with, but they are um, actually working on building up the sound just for the IMAX release. So that's cool. So you know that, um, you know, because of, like you said, because mm -hmm. of the IMAX sound, um, they are going to be um, amping up the sound. So uh, I, can't, I can't wait um, to hear John Carpenter's soundtrack in IMAX. That's going to sound fucking dope, dude. Oh, Especially it's going to sound new dope. Remix to, oh, Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, dude, with all the old school yeah. cues and all that. Dude, oh my God, it's going to sound so cool. Anyways, um, oh. so we have the whole thing. We watched the whole thing. We talked about it a little bit. Um, all right, so um, some of the stuff that I did want to talk about was Michael's Burnt Mask. I have some stuff to say about that. And um, the whole firefighter, mm. fire, house, is house escape situation. So, number one. All of that. All of that. Well, what did we start with? The house or the mask? I want to start with the mask. Okay, we'll start with the mask. Go. <laughs> this is Reality Check and go. And now, it's Reality Check. And this is... Reality Check. The show when you leave your delusions at the door, sit your ass down, open up wide for a big slice of truth with a side of wisdom. <laughs> okay, for all you horror fans and, oh my God, diehard Michael, <laughs> Meyer, Michael Meyer fans, how can you have Michael Myers walking around with an unburned mask when he was in a fire? Yeah. Yeah, so um, we clearly saw in the last movie that he was engulfed in flames. Mm -hmm. Okay, see, but but talking about the mask is having to tie in with the whole firefighter situation. So I'm just going to talk about everything at once. So you have Michael standing in the basement, looking mm -hmm. at, at uh, all, all three um, all three women. Right. Okay, uh, he's engulfed in flames, and he's standing there long enough to be around all this fire. Right. All right. So they're seeing him. They're not even seeing him burn that much. We're, you know, they stand there for a second and then they leave. Right. All right. So all the, the, the promo stuff that has Michael standing out in front mm -hmm. of that burning house with that firefighter. Thing. I forgot what it was called, but that firefighter tool. Right. Okay. So if he's standing outside of the house mm -hmm. with that firefighter tool, we're supposed to believe that somehow the firefighters had something to do with him getting out. Right. Apparently, we're supposed to believe Supposedly. that, yeah, because he okay. has that tool, right? Okay, so shouldn't he be more burnt up if he would had been down there long enough? Yes, you know what I mean. Yes, because people are saying that like maybe he just like and like vanished in real quick. Mm. But what's with all the promo stuff of him having the thing? Exactly. Maybe that was just promo stuff, and maybe that's gonna have nothing to do with the oh, movie. No, because that's gonna, that, that that's a key role. Yeah, so I just um. I don't know how that really all makes sense. And like the whole mask mm -hmm. in the novel, like we said, that the mask was like singed on and mounted to his skin and mounted Correct. to his face. Now I get not wanting to totally take away the structure of, of the face of Michael Myers because then he's going to be like this, like Michael Myers, Freddy Krueger, Kru Freddy Krueger crossover. That's mm -hmm. just like, like, who is this? I get that. Okay. And then like, like, like I, okay. Like I get where the, like where fans are not and where the movie is not wanting to like you're gonna look like a Jason right. Freddy Krueger Michael Myers like it's burnt onto him and you're gonna see like oh, half the mask and his burnt face I don't know if like fans would have been down with that but also 
it would have been cool to see in a scene and somehow him getting a new mask. Okay, that I can see. Right? Um, so I don't know. So, um, but yeah, I am I am a little upset about uh, the the mask situation and, and how how not burnt up it is. I mm -hmm. wish it was a little more burnt up, a little more mounted on. Um, you know, like like I said, he was supposed to be like engulfed in all this fire. Um, by the Sandra time, you know, like burned. yeah, like like uh, all all women like got in the truck. They made their way. They saw the firefighters. You know what I mean? And the firefighters yeah. had to get to the house, get inside of the basement, and let him out. And that's all he was burnt up. Like that's what I'm saying. Like that's like was, that's the small touched. amount that he. Yeah, exactly. He was like untouched. I get that he's on. He's like supernatural, right? Okay. I get that. Why couldn't he just like pop out of the house? Yeah. Why was he just like standing in fire and didn't get burnt? I understand him not being able to get burnt because there's a lot of people. Uh, I forgot the, the like the disease or whatever the syndrome is called that people aren't able to feel pain because they're oh, having okay, pain I receptors. Trying, yeah, I get that that he's able to stand in the fire, but the clothes and the mask situation don't make any sense. Yeah, no, they should like, be like, something should be burned. Yeah, like, badly or something. not that I want to see Michael naked with no mask. That's just going to be like a weird Rob Zombie yeah. shit that I don't want to see. But I'm also why why was the mask burnt just a little bit more? Mm -hmm. My only concern. Um, but with that, I I fucking loved it. Still, still. yeah, I, I loved it. I, I thought it was awesome. Um, like I said, with, without the movie coming out this October, mm -hmm. um, it was a cool little sneak peek. Um, it is 32 seconds long and. Mm -hmm. I think it was like a great 30 uh, second, a great beautiful. 30 second. It was, it was worth it. Right? No. It was definitely worth it. If we're not going to get it this this year, it was definitely worth it. <laughs> all right. So um, with uh, all the trailer stuff getting out of the way, um, comment down below what you guys thought about mm -hmm. it, what you guys um, hope to see in the movie. Um, hopefully some of you haven't seen too much of the spoilers because I'll be honest, there are a couple spoiler videos. Yeah. I saw a little bit of them. I saw, mm -hmm. I saw a little bit. <laughs> don't hate me i saw a little oh, bit just because i was curious um well i can't hate just because from the information that we that i am going to say this yes we kind of we already knew uh, the information uh, about this movie before yeah it even came out. yeah there was like the screenshots of it mm -hmm. and stuff like that um so we were, we were like so we saw those we did and honestly between the both of us we had a a huge debate of Telling yeah, you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so mean, I'm just gonna go out and say it. Yeah, we saw we saw the leaks a while ago. Mm -hmm. Um by a good source. By a good source, yeah. Um um yeah, so so we did see that. Um I mm -hmm. did see the, the leak videos that are out. Um I was desperate. I was desperate and I wanted to see some stuff about sad. the movie. I can't be um, sad. If you guys are desperate like me, you can look them up. There's a lot of stuff out there. Mm -hmm. Um I kinda don't I wouldn't recommend it though. I you know, if you're a diehard fan, just 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 wait. St stick with the trailer and just, you know, wait for whatever they show you and, and just you, be happy with that. Yeah. If but, not, um, go for it. Yeah, if not, go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To totally uh, indulge, remember, totally indulge yeah. in some spoilers because, yeah. uh, I mean, fuck, that's what a huge part of the internet culture um, is based off of is yeah. uh, movie spoilers and leakage and all that shit. So um, we're not going to definitely be talking about any of that no. stuff. But um, I did have to get that off of my shoulder and tell you guys. I, I do... Kind of, okay, you know, I do know what's going to happen in the movie, but it's like, I don't mind that just because I want to see it happen. Mm -hmm. Even though I know what's going to happen, I want to see it happen. Reading you know it what is I mean? one thing, but seeing it exactly. a whole yeah, yeah, different yeah. thing. It's not like I read the whole script or whole book. I just read small bullet points and no small bullet points about, boom, 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 boom this is going to happen and this is person's going to be in it. And that's all I know and that's all we know and that's all I want to know. And, mm -hmm. um... What we tell you guys and what's um, like released out yeah. to you guys. That's all we're going to be covering and talking about. Um, but with that being said, there is um, rumors or I don't, I, don't, I don't know if I should say, can say rumors, but people are like speculating and talking. I don't know if it's that. Maybe it's just high hopes, um, but that maybe that we're going to get two movies in October. If not. In, oh, I if, heard about those. Yeah, movies, right. Yeah. If not in October 2021. Uh, mm -hmm. Definitely in October 2022. So, um, and we're supposed to get Halloween Kills mm -hmm. on October 15th. Correct. And we're, we might get Halloween Ends on Halloween on October 31st. Correct. Now, that would be fucking unheard of. That would so be... fucking dope mm -hmm. and amazing. And just like, dude, that's groundbreaking for fucking Blumhouse and Universal and the Halloween Universal franchise especially. to be fucking doing. Exactly. To be releasing two films from a franchise mm -hmm. in the same, same month yeah. and Halloween ends on Halloween. Like that's just fucking that, amazing. That's it. You guys, if, if that's something that you guys want, definitely comment down below. 
Universal. If any of you guys are Blumhouse and you guys are watching, dude, that would be we, fucking amazing. We approve it. We fucking know. amazing. Yeah. You know, who wouldn't fucking approve that? You know, that's so fucking cool. I can't stop cussing because it's so cool. I can't. I we can't, can't. We I can't. can't. I can't. I just can't. Um. But yeah. What, other, than what, that, other than that, there's not a whole lot to talk about. Um, not. I mean, but. You know, uh, we hope that you enjoy. It. We hope you enjoy the 32 second tra um, trailer. Yep. You know, if you see, if you hear anything else, you know, just remember, keep it to yourself. You know, like if you want to tell anybody else, just keep. Remember, you're gonna be spoiling it for them, not for you. Exactly. So, think about that. <laughs> oh wait, we we actually didn't even get to the letter. <laughs> the the whole okay so so with the movie being delayed <laughs> we got the little sneak peek and yep. uh, uh the teaser and we wanted to talk about that first but with uh the teaser being um um being released and the news announcement um david gordon green and john carpenter actually did release a whole full page on um why blumhouse and universal and the whole halloween team um decided to um delay the movie by a year so um we'll go ahead and uh, take a look at that right now and we'll have it on the screen for you guys so you can see it as well all right so um so the letter says right here halloween kills july 8th 2020 we write this to you heartbroken over the fact that the delay of our film is even a discussion but if there is one thing that a career in the film industry has prepared us for is the unexpected. Over the past few weeks, our film family has looked at the forecast of theatrical exhibition with the obvious concern. We have discussed the struggle of how best to pre present Halloween Kills to the loyal fans around the world, as well as the new audience we hope to invite to this experience. It was a wild and vibrant production. We lined up a cast of legacy characters like Lori and Tommy, Lindsay, Lonnie, Marion, Brackett, and The Shape. Then alongside some new faces, we aggressively, we aggressively made the second chapter of our Halloween, Halloween trilogy. It unfolded into an experience that was a creative playground, and we feel confident that our misfit pleasures will be seen as an unexpected entry into this franchise. If we release it in October of this year as planned, we have to face the reality that the film would be consumed in a compromised theatrical experience. After weighing our options, we have chosen to push the film's theatrical release by one year. On top of a tradition of release, Universal has agreed to an IMAX presentation of the film in October 2021. We are sound mixing with one of the greatest design teams that can slash, scream, and creep their way under your skin. We're going to have to hit, we're going to have time to complete the film with the quality the fans deserve. And preparation on Halloween ends has begun as well. It is an Honor to be working with these characters and spending time in Haddonfield. We look forward to sharing our next chapters with you, David Gordon Green and John Carpenter. So, um, so yeah, exactly. So, um, it was the two big dogs um, in charge of production mm -hmm. um, that actually came out with it. And um, you, you, you hear it right there why they didn't. Um, obviously, they said it was going to be a compromised theatrical experience, meaning it, it wasn't going to be as big as they wanted it to. Mm -hmm. It wasn't going to have the releases that they wanted Fans it to. Fans were going to be able to get to enjoy it. Exactly. It was going to be in limited um, numbers inside screenings. Mm -hmm. um, um, with that being said, uh, a lot of people are, are, are commenting that the, re the reason why they didn't want to release it on video on demand was because of internet piracy. And oh, yeah. you know what? That's something that I really didn't even think about making our last video is the fact that someone can just, you know, record it and put it up on torrent websites or put it up on, on YouTube, small pages well, and you not even, it? um, you know, totally get the movie out for free. And then there goes a huge amount of their budget, yeah. which of course, you know, that's, um, it's not like a money hungry thing, but of course, you know, they want to make their profit as well because exactly. it's such a big, you know, they want to have the money and the budget to do other projects because Blumhouse is, mm -hmm. you know, of course, getting the revenue from it. Um, but they also want to put money back into Halloween ends. So, you know, why would you want, um, as fans, why would you want to steal the movie? And, and you know what I mean? I just, there are some people out there who are going to watch it illegally. Yeah, don't F it over. Yeah, exactly. There are some people who are going to watch it out there legally. Of course, there mm -hmm. are bootlegs in the theaters as well. But, um, you know, I think waiting the year or two, um, like they said, I think that it probably is the best bet. It is, you know what honestly. I mean? It's safer it is. for the movie. And, you know, we're, we're going to be getting a better view ex viewing experience. Oh. Um, that's without being said, you know, I was actually thinking about it. You know, who's to say that um, we aren't, that we are actually going to get theaters opened and like who who knows if theaters are even going to be open that's true so that's some, that, that, see, that's a reality can hold. exactly that that's a reality that they're going to have to be looking at next year as well is you know what's going on with the virus and a vaccine and are people still mm -hmm. getting sick because as of right now it seems you know i hate to talk about it but it does seem like numbers are are rising again so it's like you know they that's why they chose not to go with you know the theatrical Opening release up. because they knew things are going to start getting bad again there's and, a second um, wave in case of any of you exactly don't even know. exactly yeah so um 
so you know uh, i think um uh, with 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 the little teaser um with with right here um, letter. Yeah, with the letter. Um, I do have one more segment that I want to talk about. Um, some of you guys have been commenting on the videos, and I highly, highly appreciate that. Mm -hmm. And I just did want to give you a, guys a shout out. So uh, we have Lewis Angel. Thank you, fucking thank you so much. Um, you said you you commented about the the mannequin. Uh, mm -hmm. um, uh, My Michael sitting with the mannequins. Um, that was a dope picture. I, I, I commented on that one. That was a really fucking cool picture. And uh, I don't know if I showed it in the video, but I wanted to. <laughs> I had it somewhere and maybe I was meant to show it in one of our videos. I don't think I did show it, but um, that was a really dope photo. And um, maybe I'll throw it up right here, <laughs> right here for you guys. Uh, if you don't know what photo we're talking about. Um, we have another one, Marcus Hicks. Um, Buddy, this um, video was actually kind of uh, for you and um, mm -hmm. in honor for you. You actually asked us if we're going to be um, doing a video for the new trailer. And um, this is this is yeah, our video. Yeah. This is our video. So, Marcus, thank you so much for the question and for the comment. I really do appreciate it, dude. It, it helps our channel and it helps the alg algorithms and the YouTubes. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So, um, so, thank you for that. Let me see what else we have. Um, let me go down. Let me get we down. Roman. Yeah, we have Roman FC. Um you said you you asked they're going to delay hk and um yeah yeah like you know like like you mm. heard already we had the unfortunate news of um of uh of the they did do it uh they did delay the movie but we respect um it yeah and to um and to all the other guys who um in uh guys and girls or no it's mainly guys i don't have any girls <laughs> um no but to all you other guys um thank you so much for commenting on the videos i really do mm -hmm. um i appreciate your thumbs up and i appreciate you guys watching the whole video and if you made it this far into the video um Give it a great big thumbs up and comment down below. Um, comment down uh, what you thought about the new movie, what give you thought about out. the delay and all that. Yeah, and I'll definitely give you guys a shout out on the next video. Um, I love you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, for my new subscribers or for my new viewers, um, thank you for stopping by and uh, spending a little time with us and talking yeah. about some Halloween kill stuff. You know, that's our favorite movie. Oh, yeah. um, I hope that's your favorite movie, the, the whole Halloween it franchise. Has it has to be, right? That's the reason why you're here because you love the Halloween franchise. Um, so definitely give, the vi give this channel a um, you know support by hitting the subscription button and turning on that notification bell and um give this video a great big thumbs up and like i said hit the comment. Share link. yeah exactly you hit the share link and comment when uh, you know share with your friends and um you know comment down what you guys want to see in the next video um any problems or issues that you had with this video and we'll definitely fix it in the next one and we'll give you a shout out on that too um i love you guys when you comment on all my stuff um you know i appreciate it because you guys um I don't know, I just, I just appreciate the honest criticism, I really, yeah. really do. So any any uh, criticism that you guys have on it, um, just let, let me know, honestly, it's something that I want to improve on. So, um, like I said, thank you so much for uh, you guys for stopping by, for my returning viewers, thank you guys for your support, um, I love you guys, I love you guys. Um, we love you. Yeah, bye. Bye, guys.